So here's a video of the greenhouse. I think I put about four days work. I didn't get to work on it because I'd mark it yesterday, but I wanted to just show you some of the details. Um, a lot of it's salvaged. I'd say about half of it. This is salvaged plywood because I don't really need much of a wall. Um, remember, I'm in zone 9B, so it doesn't get cold very often. I just wanted something to start seedlings in uh, for the spring. These things were super cheap. I think like a buck seven, and they work great. Uh, made my life a whole lot easier. Um, I think they call it toe screwing or something. I did that too with a three inch into there, but this is a two by six. Uh, I used treated, except for I went to the store and bought some plywood studs and stuff, and I used treated because it's uh, hot and sweaty here in Florida. Luckily, this south facing wall, but you know, right now the sun comes up and goes that way in uh, January, middle of January, by March, April, and then May or June, and then, you know, during the heat of the summer, the sun's not actually going to be shining on this, this structure at all, so it won't get too hot, which is my main concern, so. Um, I used lag screws were basically just anchor bolts into the concrete block for the the stud roof there and that's about 22 inches cut them 24 and then cut the angles so uh, it's 22 inches 23 inches maybe at a 15 degree angle down then I cut these are about eight and a half feet long at a 30 degree angle facing down and a 45 degree angle at the the bottom here and I have to break these off but these things are were sweet find. I'm so glad I found them. It made my life a whole lot easier. Um, this stuff is called Sun Tough. It's a virtually unbreakable, says the instructions. That's going to be on the the roof here. So I just have to cut that. And it was, um, I think altogether, I've spent about $180 so far. Not too bad. I haven't gotten the the sh glazing, they call it, but just basically the plastic, whatever I'm going to use. I haven't decided yet. But I, and I'll have a bunch of extra stuff left over. About $40 were just tools that I needed to get drill bits for the block and things like that. So, and here's my helper over here.